Right. It's like, who's going to do it better? Yeah. The Simon's projectile is just a little more impressive than Pelotin. Right. From what I'm seeing. But, oh, looks like we're starting up here. Inkling goes for the Inkling, but T3 Dome going for the Simon. Three, two, here we go. Game one, one on go, Stadium. So I was talking a lot about like the stages and the stage mix-up that Simon and Richter, the Belmont, I guess you could say, have right. against a lot of the other characters. And I would I would definitely I'd like to ask your opinion. I asked the other uh, commentators as well, too. Would you prefer a stage against the Belmont um, where it's smaller and you can kind of run him down and he doesn't have a uh, chance to face you out? Or would you prefer kind of like a bigger stage? Uh, it depends on the matchup, to be completely honest. So the character you're playing, right? Yeah, the character you're playing. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, again, I play, I play Belmont, too, and oh, no. it, it does... It does depend on the character matchup, you know? Okay. There, there's some characters like Snake, who I prefer a bigger, wider stage because I don't want to deal with grenades and, like, explosions, like, in close quarters, you know? Exactly. But there are other stages, like, I feel like Inkling is, like, one of those stages where, like, Inkling would benefit a lot more off of Battlefield than Belmont. But if you're a big character like DK or Bowser, you know, stages like Battlefield, which are tiny and, like, very enclosed. That's scary. Yeah. You can, like, <laughs> you can 100% just get lead strapped from combos with these. The entire game, right? By all these big guys and all these whips. Yep. Especially if you have slow aerial movement or aerial drift, like you can just hide underneath the platform and just camp underneath it like no other. Exactly. And T3 Dome, no slouch. Already starting off with all the lead traps, putting Inkling at 166%, while himself only at 68%, getting double up these, but both not taking the stock. Ooh, very. I know. Just the other week, no, T3 don't beat uh, X-Ax, who is like the other like oh, really? big inkling main in SoCal. But, oh, yeah, that's great. So, again, he's very familiar with the matchup. Hey, but I'm going to tell you right now, though, Chag, he has been landing those up up throw up airs with inkling like no one's business. Every single time. He's very good at that. Very good at that confirm. Yeah. Ooh, the Axe going through the middle, taking him out at 211%. Right. Even to get it up, both of them. I mean, that's kind of the sad thing about the, the Belmonts is that People say like, oh yeah, Belmonts are busted. Like they kill you at 60. Like not if you know what you're doing. Like you're not dying to Belmonts until 200%. If as long as you don't like normal get up into poison, you know. Exactly. So if you're a character that can like find the kill eventually, like you should be able to beat them all. Oh, the roller. Oh, he was looking for the up air okay. of that one instead, but barely misses it. Getting forward, forward air hitting him off the stage. Putting Simon in a lead trap position. Let's see how Chag's able to handle it. But instead, lets him back on. Dude, T3 Dome's pretty tricky with those down airs getting back onto the stage. All right. I love what he's doing. He's trying to play a more bait and punish style game, waiting for Inkling to make an option. But you know what? Inkling, when she ducks and bobs and weaves, no, it's so there hard to get in. And the up throw, up air. Every single time. So Inkling definitely winning out in neutral and just taking the stocks where they matter every single time. And again, there's that pancake. Yeah, I feel like like characters that can like really pancake like Pikachu. And ooh, I love ooh, that. Ooh, see, wait. see, that's another like mix-up that you can do off of uh, Belmont and Richter. Because like if you know they're gonna jump and they're gonna jump in, like yeah. they you most characters jump at the perfect height where that will speed spot, and so you can get like super early kills if you yeah. read that the, they're gonna the jump. Yeah, for that one. That was definitely the sweet spot of that chain. So. Now, Chag, ooh, gets him in with a roller, goes for the down air. I think he's going for some kind of spicy combo for that one. So this flat bomb whiffs the grab, now Inkling in a bad position, somewhere where he really doesn't want to be against the Belmont, especially with a Rage Belmont. All right, and there's oh, up but there. there's up throw up there, landing yeah. it every single time, man. Yep. I'm pretty Big sure. 2 bro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he lost because he didn't go as uh, true main uh, Richter. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> he played too much He-Man. Yep. He's trying to unga boonga his way. You, know, you, you, <laughs> gotta, you gotta finesse it. You, you, gotta, you gotta use your anime protagonist powers <laughs> to to beat this inkling. You see, now T3 Dome taking Chag here to Smashville where it's somewhere a little smaller. So as you can see, T3 Dome liking right. the horizontal platform. The, the fact that he has that middle platform, he can right. control the horizontal a little better with his boomerang and his axes, mm -hmm. as well as his whip too. And then not only that, he's able to wall him out a little more effectively, maybe catch this inkling, this slippery inkling that's even dashing around him. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, he likes to throw the holy waters off the platform too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I noticed as well. Oh, I love the I, I love the attempt there, but yet again, like you have to be, be able to make sure that you come back from stage. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a mistake from Mambo T3 Dome, but oh, also trying to up the other way. Well, see Chad getting him with the jab combo. Ooh, and then gentleman's that one. Go 
goes for the back throw with the boomerang. You can just see it coming all its way, all the way from the stage. Right, gets a quick down tail, and now he's off stage. I love that, you know, throwing out the axe, you know, bait an option, and then throwing the holy water just to see, like, okay, if he normal gets up and he does it a little bit too slow, then I'm going to hit him with this. Exactly. Chag just trying to hold his position here. I mean, Chag is basically up a fresh stock, like, you know, this is T3 Dome's, like, game to, like, kind of make up at this point. Exactly. So he's he's working really hard right now, you can tell. Trying to work back with those double nares, catching that Miss Tech, too. Get him with a splat bomb. We're going for another splat bomb. Ooh, I, those and gets the axe straight in his face. Yeah, I love that, you know, knowing that, like, okay, if he air dodges, it's probably going to chill because I don't have a true confirm oh. off of this off of this down air particularly. You know, down air is one of those moves where, like, it super heavily depends on how your opponent DI's in, where you're DI'ing after the trip of the hit. Exactly. And Chag landing this jab combo going to put him back into a ledge trap situation. A different tag we're seeing from uh, winners instead, especially working off the momentum from beating Master Mario right now. Playing a lot hotter, but C3 Dome trying to make it make this little comeback here in this game. Keep him off that stage. Oh, he's going to punch that. Oh, or not. Oh. You know, I feel like he was like, okay, I won't be able to punish it immediately, or if I can, like, it will be like an up tilt at best. Yes. So let me try to get the roll option and again, like, if he rolls, he's yeah, died. Maybe he's trying to put him into yeah. some kind of frame trap situation as well. Oh, I love, I love the attempt right there, but you know, I just pulling the trigger a little bit too early and just going to barely up. live that. And yet again, here comes the cross back and not going to be quite high enough to cover the stage, but you know what? He's just making this percent back. I mean, he was down a whole stock and exactly, look at this. Man. Like, this is almost an even and game And the again. work paying off in spades, throwing out all of those B moves. Yeah. Oh, but this should be able to take the stock. He hits him with the force match with the roller, and Chag still up that stock. That's a rage inkling we got to deal with now. All right, but I'm going to have to take this one quick. You know, at 128, like, all Inkling has to do is make one mistake and she's dead. Oh! Oh, she's fine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, single percent. Yeah, like, trust me, like, Belmont's recovery, like, not good, but, like, it's not that bad. The vertical, it's there. The vertical's there. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Quick, holy warrant up there. And yet again, 74%, not healthy, but, like, definitely livable. It's kind of like you have, a, like, a common cold, you know, be like, I'm in bed, I have a headache, <laughs> but, like, I'm not dying anytime yeah, soon. Yeah, that's a little confirmed. Looking for that up tilt though. Trying to play with him on this platform, but Chag playing pretty well around it, not letting, not falling for any of the tricks. Ooh. Trying to splat bomb the tether. Right. And I love what he did there. He used the side beat to kind of like halt himself in the air just to give him a little bit more time to recover. Exactly. Gonna go for the up throw up air, and he's gonna land it. Oh, but it's not gonna take. Yep. Not gonna take the stock, just a little bit too low of percent. Goes for the dash attack, throws the boomerang backwards. Now we got the setup with the holy water. There's another holy water. Gets the grab. Yet again, all it takes is just one wrong move. And here we are again. He's looking for that kill, but is he going to land this? Nope, not this one. Too high of a percent now, I think. Ooh. Oh, man, that was nasty. Yep. Take this. Go. Take this. Yet again, old Richter needs is that one kill confirm. I mean, they, they're both even at, now, man. Yeah. Last stock situation is pretty even now. Oh, he barely missed that holy water, but that roller not going to land either. I mean, yet again, and the more percent Inkling takes, the less invincibility frame she has when she grabs ledge. So all you need is Ooh, one hit, but you know what? smash out of shield. Yeah. Going to do the scoop, too, as well. 2-0 up in this loser's reset, or like, this is what he's looking for, looking for the reset for Chag. Um, Honestly, Chag is really, really good at dodging a lot of these projectiles that are going through, especially when Teether Dome puts him in that situation uh, with Inkling. All right. If that was if that was me, I'd be looking like Swiss cheese, you know. Oh my god. Most yeah. players would be looking like Swiss cheese. I mean, definitely, I feel like T3 Dome definitely had that game if he did an SD. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that that I think that that beginning SD definitely uh, sparked that flame underneath him. But Chag going Palutena, mm. and switching the Palutena, and T3 Dome switching to Mega Man. I think. He knew he was going to do that? Or maybe? I don't know. I mean, yet again, if you're a loser, if you're losing and you're coming like to the counterpick, like, you get counterpick. Yeah, right, right, right. So yeah. the, the, the counterpick was the Mega Man. Yeah. But. I feel like he figured out the Inkling, and Chag was just like, OK, he figured out the Inkling. Let me go through the Palutena. And yeah. T3 Dome was just like, I'm not trying to 
lose this game just because how it can be super rough for the Belmonts. Yeah, but surprisingly, even so, he, he, he won it very convincingly earlier in the game, so I guess it depends on the way that Tito Nobis is playing, but he's going to take him off with a double back air, and Mega Man not going to make that back, especially if he doesn't have a jump. I mean, Palutena looking like DK right there with all those back airs. Oh exactly. My Lord. Oh, man. And Chag was schmoving on my boy. Yeah. Preparing for a Congo Saga in December right there. <laughs> Gets him with a Nair into forward air. Looking for the down to the ledge trap, but mm, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the Mega Man so far. Keep the room, keep the dome, gonna have to get something started here. I know all these explosive flames, you know, all these projectiles. You know, Mega Man usually very comfortable throwing out all these projectiles, except, you know, Palutena does have the reflectors, so can really, really bite him in the butt if he chooses to projectile at the wrong time. Exactly. Did you see where like the hard knuckle hit the shield and just went flying <laughs> off <Yeah>. the side? <laughs> just completely throwing it away. That's the funny part though. It canceled out the projectile if you really think about it. So. <laughs> like I wondered like if there was like doubles and like there was like a like a teammate <laughs> off of there. Like would it have hit the teammate off of that? <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm assuming it still has a hitbox, but Jack moving around, still up two stocks now at 86%, and getting a air train start. He's gonna reverse it. Yep, he tried to reverse it, he tried to land it, but good job T3 Dome trying to fall out of this one. Still, we're going to have to get something started. Now we're using these projectiles to our advantage, too. He's going to get him with a down throw into a back air. Oh, he was trying to sauce on my boy. Right. Yet again, oh my god, wanting to go for the grab, but does not come out in time. And yet again, barely makes it back onto the stage. You know, T3 Dome, is Mega Man's good, but like, Chag can tell, like, this is like a main versus a secondary right Yeah, here. you can tell. If even that, right? I think that's the like the first time we've seen the shield actually come out now. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm seeing it, but ooh, Chad going low, low. Yeah. Still gonna make that back though. He's Palutena. Right. Ooh, and messing up the two frame. Right again, Mega Man trying to do everything he can. Yeah, but no, he read that. Yeah, he read the commitment, and that's gonna be a 3-0 for Chad on that last game in for his reset. Now he gets the reset, and let's see where T3 Dome goes with this one. I'm gonna assume he's gonna pull back the Richter. Back out right, going back to PS2. I feel like he 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 realized he was going to lose that set, so he threw out the Mega Man and be like, okay, let's not give him any more data on the Richter. Exactly. And if I take the game with Mega Man, great. If not, then, like, I, I, I can bring it back in this set, you know? Exactly. So it, that's what it's looking like now. And so Chag opting again for the inkling. Going to see the same matchup again. And t is going to have to figure this one out. It, he showed that he was figuring it out, so... Let's see where we go with this one. Check, starting off pretty strong, getting some combos started. I mean, what makes Inkling hard for the Belmonts is that they come in at, an, at a specific degree where it's like super hard for a Belmont to just run away in F tilt, especially with that back air. Because he saw it right there. He tried running away F tilting, but you know what? Inkling's back air is just so disjointed that it just catches him anyways. And I like the attempt right there, and I feel like he realized he wasn't going to get it, so he, he upbeat in the opposite direction, so I wouldn't get punished for it. Like, exactly. like he realized, eh, this might work, but it probably won't, so let me see reverse it just to be safe. Yeah, C3 Dome trying to get something started here, uh, get him in the position where he wants him to be. Get the punch game going, but, oh, no, we're going to punch that. It was luckily a weak hit for the up smash, but... Yet again, damage is damage, and you know what? Richter really needs to struggle to find a kill because if he doesn't get that tipper uh, aerial, then like they're going to be living for a lot longer percent. Exactly, and Jag looking to secure this kill, waiting for the dodge. And I love that the empty hop into the grab gets the forward throw, or the back throw, and there you getting go. and catching him out with that fair. See, this is the setup we're looking for. And C3 Dome playing his cards right. Oh, kind of putting himself in a weird position, though. Let's see how Chag handles it. Gets hit away. Ooh, I, I like the attempt right there. He tried going back in order to you know, reposition himself into a space that can punish it, but you know what? Not going to be able to find it. Oh, my Ooh, God. Chag carries the Holy Water. Not yeah. able to get anything off of it. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about Holy Water is that if it hits a shield, if it hits something other than the ground, then it becomes a neutral target and it hits both players. Yep, it'll be reflected, it'll be reflected. And looking like a different story now in this set, uh, T3 Dome holding it, keeping it together, playing the slow game against him, coming up with the stock. Now, Raid Richter. Let's see here, throwing out a lot more projectiles. Right. Oh, tried running away, but not fast enough. 
that should be a dead Richter. Now, both well, basically even stocks, 30%, not, nothing to worry about. Gets a cool little jab combo on him. Looking for him. I don't know if he wanted back there, there, but. And again, running into the fire is going to kind of halt his momentum right there. And you know what? The back, the back row cross is not going to really do well for him right there. He gets punished for it. Tries grabbing, but you know what? Not going to be enough. And Baron just a tether back. But yet again, he's just being oh, very bad. predictable at this point. Opting to not go for the, the hard smash the attack. Match, right? Yeah. yeah. He, was, he was at some pretty uh, high percent, but I'm assuming he thought his match was going to be really, really good. Ooh, like a triple parry, double parry? Double parry, yeah. Go. Go the roller again, that's flat bomb. Putting in some good work on the shield. Right. But Chag is not falling for a lot of the aerials anymore. He's, he's carrying a lot more stuff. All right. And you know what? I feel like T3 Dome. I'm going to say that. Yeah, T3 Dome's doing a really good job walling him out. And I love what he's doing right there. there he kind of delayed his his holy fire because he knows that, like, okay, Chag likes a normal get up a lot. Ooh. Goes for the up throw up air, lands it. You can see it, it, this is just a battle of attrition, man. Right. Honestly, just a battle of attrition. Both of them just trying to hang on as much as possible, right? right? I mean, definitely with both of these players and characters, like it's he whoever finds their kill option first. You know, they both kind of struggle to kill, but you know, Inkling does have that up throw up air, and Belmont have all their confirms off of the the holy fire. So it's either can you just kill your opponent with a straight aerial first? Or can you find your cheese option first? Ooh. Chad getting something definitely started here. Putting him in a ledge trap situation. Getting some combos. Now lands a roller on him. Oh, gets the jab lock. Oh, man, he was reading a roll. I see what Chad was going for there. I feel like he could have just gone for the F smash. I'm not 100% sure if it would have killed though. I mean, it probably wouldn't have killed. He was only at 100%. Yeah. And it would have been a, a no charge F smash. Yeah, so he was probably looking for something a little bit more. Reading the roll in and then going for the roll to try to get something actually off of it. But oh, no, he read the roll in and no one's not going to get punished for it. Oh, dude, a little bit of monster gay. Right. I mean, I feel like Chag wasn't even expecting him to just charge up smash right there and just threw out the, the option that like kind of did off of Instinct, you know? But there's the up throw there's up there. There's up throw up there, and it's going to land. Yep. Finds the kill, and even though T3 Dome playing that one very, very well, both of them, they ran it back and forth, man. They really right. ran it back and forth that one to even it up, and just ends up that Chag got that grab. And again, that's the really dangerous thing about this matchup is that up throw up air, like equalizer, you know? You have a kill confirmed off of a grab, you know? Yeah. So it's like, if, especially against a character like Inkling, whose neutral game is just so gross, like, how's it going to work out? But Chag opting to switch to the Palutena now. Yeah, again, probably thinking like, okay, that was super, super close. No, yeah. let's, let's switch to the Palutena so he doesn't download it even more. Exactly. And kudos to, to Chag for being able to switch between these characters like nothing, honestly. Like, it's hard enough for a lot of players to be able to just play their own character. You know, Chag's out here at his age just putting in work with both of these characters. All right. Here we go. Back and forth. Yeah. Chag really struggling to find his way in against the matchup, but gets a down tilt off stage. And yet again, Palutena can be really good, but yet again, like her approach options against the Belmont are not spectacular. Yeah, this is what I talked about earlier in that winner set. This is exactly what had basically happened. It's just, oh man, but we're getting we're getting these combos, right? But this is exactly what had basically happened. Is the second uh, T3 was able to put him into that ledge trap situation. It was really, really hard for Chag to get back. And I'm wondering if he has some kind of optimization or was able to get back into this by switching to the Palutena. But right now, it seems like we're seeing the same old song and dance. Oh, gets hit with X. Yet again, you know, all these little hits are going to rack up a lot of damage. And you tried countering it, but you know what? That space is too well, and you cannot counter it that far. Maybe if you're a Joker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> that hitbox, insane, by the way. <laughs> Gets him with the down throw back air. And we're going to be able to have to take this stock unless... Yep, there we go. Hits him with the down tilt. Yeah, yeah, again. No. He didn't do that anyways. Yeah, a little bit too far. Yeah. He does gone jump, but either way, evening it up now. Chag looking to keep this ledge trap. Because you don't want T3 Dome to end up with that same ledge trap back, especially when you're going to smash go. And again, all this pressure, you know, and that's the other thing you have to be really worried about in the matchup is like how much pressure is on the shield because if T3 Dome gets the right read, you know, he can break your shield too. But exactly. Ooh, the drag down is grab. And again, that's the thing about Palutena, like once she opens you up, like she can open you up for a lot of percent. Exactly, so. for a long time. He can just follow, she can just follow you all the way. 
the power on when you continue to the air ones and gonna get him with the down throw back air looking for the explosive flame are we gonna let's trap this so it's at the back air and the nair to cover both options right. oh and there's that but gets hit with the upbeat that was amazing tech from both players right there exactly Again, yeah, Teeter Dome just trying to find this one aerial to kind of like take the stock, but no one is going to get stuffed out by that bear. Yeah, he caught, he caught him jumping out of that field. And now Chag up. Ooh, I love it. He read the the teleport to the platform and kind of preemptively threw out the Holy Fire to get the combo right there. Exactly. He's watching Chag now. He's seeing him. He's like, yeah, I know I know how you like to swim around with this character, but if I can read that, then I'll know where you're, I'll know where you're standing. All that movement doesn't mean anything if I know where you are. Right. Yet again, that parry, and yet again, T3 Dome taking commanding lead, and honestly, like, going a little bit too comfortable right there with that up smash, but. Yeah, he's lo he's looking for those jumps. He's looking for those panic jumps from, uh, from Chag, but Chag not falling great. Drop down with the forward air. Ooh, tries to get that kill right there, and doesn't get punched for it. Good job dropping all the way down. Picks up the world with that one. Right. And yet again, uh, the quick escape out of, shield option right there, but you know what? Not going to find its mark, and no, T3 still has to find this kill. You know, if you're not going to find the kill earlier, you're going to have to basically expect them not to die until like 200%. Exactly. Tries to throw out the axe. Drops down with the Nair. Doesn't get the stock, though. This is really important. Taki needs to make sure he doesn't get hit. Oh, especially not doing an up smash in the middle of the stage like that. And oh my god, not oh, spaced out for the fair four tilt. Yet again, both players are kind of like Oh, he read that one too. Yeah. He read that roll, but Richter just a little too slow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Catches him dashing at him. And Chag going to go down a game. T3 Dome taking the first game in both sets. Oh, yeah. I mean, there definitely. It is. I guess the Palutena, though. Yeah. That's what it was. Definitely the Palutena is never out in the matchup, you know? All she needs is one game. Yeah. One one Nair off stage, and she's dead. It didn't look like a, you know, a huge gap in the levels, obviously. Right. They were both last stock, last hit. Chag was holding on for the most part. Just. T3 Dome able to hold on right. to his lead throughout the rest of that game. And now switching back to the Inkling instead. Okay. Here we go to game three. One, Hopefully T3 Dome not picking this, this one out, this character out. I'm sure Shag is picking. Oh, there's the there. jab block, Ooh. but not going to be able to pull the trigger quite quick enough in order to get the confirm off of it. Switch up the out of shield, kind of combo break, and yet again, dropping shield right there. And I feel like Richter wasn't really expecting that. He was just like, oh, okay, usually they shield it. I'm going to have to punish their jump afterwards. But you know what? Exactly. And Inkling now on the losing end, getting hit with the ledge trap. Oh, he's keeping in the air forever, too. Ooh, yet again, that axe is a really hard commitment because if you get it then it's a lot of damage but if you don't then oh. it's a death but yet again when you just land that holy fire <laughs> that's a free kill that's you don't need to commit one. to anything exactly. right there oh but we got the jab block and there you go he gets the read this time oh he's going for something nasty yeah. I, I liked how he went for that bear for kill. Man. Yeah. he went for the bear sequence. Yeah. he went for the bear and tried going for another jab block afterwards not going to be able to quite find it and yet again T3 Dome finding his own little sequence right there that was a cute little 23%. It worked out. Yeah. Damage is damage. But every time Chag is being able to find these up throw up airs and he's spacing him out again. Messes up on the jab combo, rolls through it on those 10 hits. And again, stuffing him out with that forward tail. And now he's at ledge. Ooh, Cross not going to come back in time to uh, throw it out. But here we go. Belmon going on stage right there. Now Inklings are in the corner. How's he gonna get back into center stage? But you know what? Oh my god, that holy fire kind of bailing him out of the situation right there. He only took a few percent instead of a potential up smash. Exactly. And again, we cannot keep missing these techs. Every single time. It's so it's so hard to catch on to the like a couple of these lower back airs that are putting uh, the Belmont on the floor, but he's too dumb. Ooh. Being able to hang on now. You know what? I feel like well, nothing but whips on the shield, man. Yeah. <laughs> nothing but whips on he, that shield. He went for up smash because I feel like he thought he had a cross out. Ooh, catches the upbeat. Not this time, though. He's, he keeps it, he's reading the, the jump off of the ledge, but right. he's, at least he's covering it. But every single time, he's still getting up. But the axe going to take the stock and put in T3 Dome in the lead here. I guess the inkling, at least this time. And again, Chag taking a moment on the Angel platform to kind of like recenter it, finding this game again. Exactly. As we were saying earlier, dude, playing against the Belmont can be very taxing. Right now, 
It looks really cool, looking really flashy, especially a lot of the stuff that he's doing, but, you know, in-game it's a different story, it's a different monster. It's like, how am I gonna get in? And everything you're trying is just getting stuffed out. It's, a, it's, it's, it's like every one. every action you pick is wrong. It's yeah, like, it's, it's like a multiple it's like a multiple choice test where like you know the answer is C, you know the answer is C, but you you, you just second guess yourself <laughs> as the entire time. For some reason the C keeps running away from me. Yeah, <laughs> he's running on the paper. I'm just trying like, to write it down. Like <laughs> I like I know two plus two equals four, but let me take out my calculator and like let put it in real quick. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and now. T3 Dome kind of trying to run away with this one. Chag, he's going to have to take the stock here. And again, there's the grab. And here's, he's off stage. And yet again, this is where T3 Dome loves to have his opponent when he's rumbling at the ledge right there. You can hear the mash too from here. Yeah. Ooh, you know what? Honestly, you'd rather be hit by the axe, or, or you'd rather be hit by the cross than the axe. Exactly, yeah, the axe is going to Yeah. But, Ooh, he gets him with a shine spike. Yep. And yet again, you know what? 160%, like, yet again, Belmont, all you need is one solid edge guard. Exactly. And, oh, it looks like we're looking for it. He's going for the up air, but Chag really smart coming down, coming all the way down from the top with a roller so that way he can get that momentum away. Oh, again. is that going to take it? Not going to uh, take it. You know, that up B out of shield is such a good option. And I love that. It just traps him in the corner right there with all this pressure, but, you know what? Chag eventually finds his way in, but not quite enough to capitalize on it. Hey man, this set is super important, I just realized. Uh -oh. oh, right when I say that, gets forward tilted. Yeah. Not the best DI. You can tell he's trying, kind of trying to get away from that one. Right. Yeah, but you know T3 what? Dome going to go up in the set. 2-1, man. That's going to be Chag with double counter picks having to deal with. Right. I mean, that's the really scary thing about the, the down B is that if you space it properly, you can threaten them at ledge, and depending on their roll, you can catch roll too. Yeah. You know? Exactly. And T3 Dome going to be up 2-1 in this set. Is it going to be his W? Or is it going to be Chag being able to take it home? No, here comes the Palutena again. You know, we saw it being pulled out, and it, it did work, but like not quite enough to take this game. You know? Yeah, he's going to lock it in. He's going to yeah. lock it in. He's thinking really hard. You can tell. All right. I mean, this is where all the marbles count. You know, this is your final game right here, potentially. Exactly. He's going to pull this one back together. Going, both of them going to Pokemon Stadium. You can already tell T3 Dome is very comfortable on stage as most Smash players are, but especially with Richter being able to control those horizontal angles with the platform and Jack sit patiently. Right. I feel like he realized That's what. That's damage, right? Yeah. I feel like Chag realized that, you know what? Like, I kind of need T3 Dome to come in with something and then I need to with punish them. You know? Exactly. You, can't, you can't really approach Belmont in this matchup, at least not as Palutena. You know, nice. you gotta wait for Belmont to throw a move out and then you punish it. Nice. So I'm liking what I'm seeing from Chag here. It's way, way more patient. Right. On something that a top player would do for sure. Just, just literally taking a second and pulling back from you know always, always trying to get that grab or always trying to get that dash attack. So he's running away, giving himself some space, and just waiting for Belmont to just kind of go in and throw out an option. And you know what? You saw it like he was able to open him up, and now all he needs is just one solid read to get the kill. See, great adaptation from my boy Chag, but still even so, Team Freedom, relentless with his moves, but back throw, is that gonna take it? Uh, no, but gonna put him in a situation for sure. Oh, I Ooh. love the high recovery right there, really knowing good. that he was going to go for the Nair. If he snapped ledge, then it was gonna be death for him. Exactly, that's how you know you know your ledge, uh, you know your opponent's edge guard, and you know your character. Ooh, man, see the bobbing and weaving, you see this guy? <laughs> Not in every single projectile. And again, here comes the Holy Flame, and you know what, just reading the double jump from ledge, and they'll kind of catching it right there. And again, Belmont. Yo, he's at super rare percent, but he's not giving this stock up without a fight. Exactly. This is a Rage Belmont right now. He's right. doing free damage, and the Rage Belmont forward throw is going to take the Palutena stock. Chag is going to have to pull it together. Let's see how he plays this one out. Oh, no, he's going to get hit by the boomerang. Oh, but he took advantage of it, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, that was so unfortunate. He, he got out of the first grab, and that wouldn't have killed. No, the back yeah. wouldn't have killed. And then he gets Fourth caught right. into another grab, and it was just lift positions, and it was just the worst timing for... Uh, T3 Dome right there. Oh man, we're putting on all kinds of percent too. And lands, lands the re-grab, and lands the back air. And lands the down tilt. What else are you, what else are you going for? Okay, 
and quick up the out of shield. And you know what? Belmont kind of bleeding hard right here, but you know what? It's one of those things where Belmont, you will slowly smother your opponent. It's exactly. one of those things where as long as you are careful, like, and don't die to up airs, like, you can just choke your opponent out like a python. Exactly, but Chag catching that, catching him falling down with that up air, gonna take off that stock. And Chag up 71%, though. He's gotta make sure he doesn't get, uh, have to play at the pace of Richter right now. And now you see T3 down kind of fishing for options at this point. Ooh, not gonna be able to quite punish it in time. Fire, but you know what? Yet again, I love Chag's timing on his normal getups because he does it so well where he can avoid the, the board smash afterwards. Ooh, and he went all the way with that warp too. That way he can get as far away as possible and capitalize it. Calling out to the empty hop with the down kind of just flying at him. And yet again, you know, T3 Dome really just throwing out all these forward smashes. I feel like he needs to kind of like take it. like slow back and like really wait it out. Now go for a forward tail. Don't go for the super hard commitment with the forward smash. Exactly. Right Even though Chag in the lead is still on his tournament stock, he's gonna have to make this one count. Gets the explosive flame that does a lot of damage too. Not gonna take him out. Oh, but lands the down tilt. Just kind of chilling a little bit, but still not gonna take it. Yeah. Oh no, he misses the fair. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's he threw it out that. and then the fair was just like, Sorry, bro. I, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm blind. I left my glasses at home. <laughs> I can't like, I see the ledge. I don't, know. I don't know if my whip is going to reach right now, dude. <laughs> he said, not this one in Chag. Being able to hold on and hold on to it, he did. 2-2. Two, two. Now we are going to game five. and yeah. oh, T3, you're going for Kellos, man. Right. No, I like this. It's a very flat stage. It's a very mm -hmm. linear stage. So Palutena is not going to have any platforms to kind of, nope. Uh, cancel off of, you know, she can't really escape anywhere. So exactly. it's all going to come down to who's neutral is stronger. Mm, good little fist bump for the last game. Chag taking a cool deep breather, but Kalos, here it is. All the way down to game five, boys. If you're still in the chat, let us know who you think is going to win this one. And again, you know, both players are kind of just sitting at this like long range gameplay, trying to just poke each other out, not really committing to anything really hard. Because they know the second that they do, they're going to get punished super hard for it. Just like that, you know, tried doing that, but get punished with the fair. Yep, hand off too, and let's see how this is this uh, stage is going to work in Richter's favor. Uh, Palutena getting up with a neutral getup, but not being able to find her way in. That's the problem with the character right now. It's looking like it's. I'm afraid he's going to get a little more aggressive and start running into all these whips and all these items. Yeah. Yet oh, again, man. that's what I was talking about earlier. You know, don't throw out the forward smash immediately just because they're at kill percent. You know, wait and throw out the forward tilt, you know, because at least, like, if you whip it, like, you're not going to get super hard punished for it. Exactly. It's a little, a little bit too much of a commitment to be throwing out forward smash right then and then, right? But even so, T3 Dome still holding on to his position, but now... How's Chad going to take advantage of this one? He tries to go for the down tilt and then tries to go for the dash attack on that one, but instead, I like what he's doing, trying to be a little bit more patient when it comes to his approaches, but still, even though in vain, yep. keeps it going up. And you know what? I feel like the one thing that's like the most laggy thing across all characters in this game is their whiff grab. You know, you saw, yeah. like, T3 Dome had ample enough time to punish it with the quick aerial. Exactly. Oh, yep, and then a close flame is going to catch him, but is it going to kill? Oh, uh, because he saved his double jump, and very smart on him to do so, because then he was able to escape the, the nair afterwards. Oh, okay. Chag's going to have to find this one for sure, and gets it with his close flame. Catches him trying to jump up, or neutral get up, whichever one that one was. And now, even game, 20%. Let's see how Chag plays this one. Chag's taking a deep breather, too. You can see it. All right. And I love that the dash attack just barely poking the shield right there. Oh, here we go, Nair Train. Yeah. The reverse. Let's do the reverse again. Now, another one. And an up air. And Ooh. another up air. Man. Just like that, 65%. You know, that was a whole lot of damage. And you know what? Yet again, these juggles are just going to continue on and on. Yeah, at low percent, the way that Chag has been tagging on, tagging on the, the damage, just, man, it's a work of art, honestly. Right. But a down throw back air. You're going to take T3 
3 off the stage. Oh, tries to go for the down tilt, but he gets on and spot dodges immediately. I haven't seen him do that yet. Oh, the forward tail right there. And you saw he kind of got pushed into the, the axe too, so he yeah. took even more shield damage from that. Exactly. Shield looking tiny. That's kind of the name of the game with Richter too. Right. And I love that he threw the, the fire onto the platform to cover the jump in. You know what? That's the other thing. If you do get caught in that, go and hard DI up. Because really? Yeah. If you hard DI up, most Richters will expect that you got hit below the ledge and they'll angle it down. Okay, you know? sure. yeah, so if you sense. hard if you hard DI it up, you can potentially avoid it. Does not kill, does not kill. He landed that up B out of shield, but does not kill. Now both of them, this is gonna be really important right here. Both the two socks, he can't make that back. He was just too far. Yeah. Just simply too far. All it was now, Chag is up. And T3 Dome's on tournament stock. You know, T3 Dome really needs to close out the stock really quickly, otherwise it's just gonna escape from him. Who's gonna take the tournament is the true answer now at this point. Because even though T3 Dome playing as dominating as he has been, Chag is really winning this war of attrition at this point. Oh man, but 170%. Oh, that's some rage though. We can't be taking any damage right now. T3 Dome just really needs to find this kill. He's at 73%. You know what? That's just. Oh, it's the down to no he can't run too long. You know, T3 Dome trying to find his kill, and, but Noah Chag just not letting him. He's trying to find the bear, a throw, anything at this point. He makes it back onto the stage. Oh, there Gets it is. Gets the up, he had a shield, and lands it. Now T3 Dome and Chag both 1-1 one, one stock, but 89% on T3. We're going to have to see the way that he walls him out, or if Chag is going to be able to take him off that stage All right. and win the tournament. Oh, quick bear out of shield, and you know what? I love what he's doing. He's kind of Hesitating on throwing out the cross, he's just trying to rely on his aerials more so. Oh no, that's it's gonna the be grab. That's gonna be the down air. I mean the back air. Gets hit by the No! Oh. No, he went too low, and you can see. Oh, you can see T3 don't throw down the controller. Yeah. Man. You know, he definitely had that recovery, but, you Yo. know, he fast felt a little bit too quickly, and it, it cost him his stock and his tournament life. I know that hurt, but what a set. What a tournament. Honestly, T3, you played so well, yeah. and on, it's nothing to be ashamed of. You guys both played awesome. Chag just as well, bringing it all the way back from losers and being able to take that game. I mean, Props honestly, that was a really good final set to end the night. It was. Off. It was. Even though it was, it's it's like a Richter and, and a Palutena, like a couple characters that I've heard a lot of stigma. Like like watching, I thoroughly 